In our epic 50 drill head-to-head -head shootout, we found plenty of capable cordless drills. But you want to know how many perfect ones there are? The simple answer is none. No single drill can be the lightest, the most powerful, the most compact, and the best value. Each product team has to make intentional decisions to prioritize certain areas which make their tool unique. With that in mind, let's discuss the truth behind drill torque and speed. The first truth you have to understand is that the relationship between torque and speed in drills is inverse. As you increase speed, you decrease torque. When you drill in high speed, there's less torque available, and when you drill in low speed, you can access the most torque that the drill has to offer. When you change speeds, you're mechanically changing the internal gears. The gearing in a drill is what determines the speed and power your tool is going to output. When you're debating different models, torque and speed are the two primary numbers most consumers consider when shopping for these tools. And boy, do those big numbers look great on packaging. However, smaller numbers can actually be better. The case in point is Milwaukee's Gen 3 M18 fuel drill. There's plenty of energy stored to push to higher RPMs, but Milwaukee caps the RPMs knowing full well that competitors may perform faster on light load applications. They channel all that extra energy and power into additional torque at high speed. Now by doing this, you can drive larger bits in high speed. That ultimately lets you do more jobs in high speed. In fact, you can drive a 2 and 9 16 inch self-feed bit through untreated 2x in high speed. Try that with some other drills. Now, there's no magic formula to choose between cordless drill torque and speed, but there are some general conclusions that we can make. The torque rating is a standardized test. That's what's on the box. It measures how much torque the drill produces in a very brief moment of time while it's locked down. Well, if you take a look at the results of our soft torque test, it's not going to line up in the same order as if we just listed the manufacturer's specs. Now, let's say you're considering three drills with the following specs. Drill number one, 1,100 inch-pounds of torque, 2,000 RPM in high speed, 550 RPM in low speed. Drill number two has 1,150 inch-pounds of torque, 2,100 RPM in high speed, and 450 RPM in low speed. And drill number three, that is 1,050 inch-pounds of torque with 1,900 RPM in high speed and 600 RPM in low speed. Now, when you look at high speed ratings, drill number two is going to drill the fastest, right? Well, under a light load, absolutely. However, drill number three is going to let you use larger bits without dropping into low speed, and drill number one finds a balance between the two. It's a similar story at low speed. Even though drill number two is the slowest of the bunch, it's likely to give you more sustained torque and drive larger bits more effectively. Drill number three may look attractive at 600 RPM in low, but it's going to struggle more with bits that drill number two is steadily plugging away with. As we mentioned before, at the end of the day, it all depends on the intentional gearing decision made by the product developers. It's tough to take manufacturers with different motors, batteries, and electronics and say with absolute authority which one you should buy. The way you choose between drill torque and speed, it's ultimately going to depend on the type of work you're going to be doing. If you're a plumber or an electrician, well, you might be drilling large holes more frequently. Giving up some top end speed for a tool that can let you work at high speed with more bit sizes, well, that makes a whole lot of sense. On the other hand, if you're working with twist bits, smaller spade bits, and hole saws, having a higher top end speed might be the most suitable option for you. All in all, there's a wide variety of drills that can do the same work and packing enough punch to keep driving and drilling. It's just a matter of how hard the drill has to work in each gear. What we recommend is pick a battery platform that has all the tools you need at a price that fits your budget, along with the quality you need on the job site. If you start there, you're going to have no problem finding a cordless drill that works for you. And if you need a specialized tool to handle high-speed hole drilling or give you something a little extra, remember what we went over here and feel free to branch out. Hey, help us out by subscribing to the channel below and tap that bell to get notified when we post new tool reviews and shootouts. And as always, thanks for watching.